Rook Abdullah ji. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. After a great diplomat who has served the United Nations for years, it's a very difficult thing for me to speak. He spoke very well, and his English is beyond me anyway. First of all, I'd like to start with, it's a failure of the United Nations. United Nations continues to fail this world. It failed, as Rule said, in Vietnam. It is still failing in Korea. It has failed in the Middle East. And I don't think, I personally, over these years, have any hope from that organization. First of all, I would like to thank not only the Prime Minister of India, but all those ministers who he chose to go to that war-torn country to bring our children back. And I must say, at the cost of their own safety, they took this journey and brought those children back. I congratulate you and I congratulate the Prime Minister for this bold step. But also at the same time, it's very easy to say that we should play a mediation role in a condition today where two major powers, America and Russia, are at loggerheads. So why did it happen? Russia continued to tell Ukraine, please don't have enemy round my border. I hope my members will remember when at the time of Khrushchev, they put missiles in, in Cuba. Kennedy was the, prime, uh, the president of America. They had to remove because America felt the threat of those missiles. Today, Russia feels the same way. I think they told this country, very frankly, please be neutral. We have no difficulties with you. They also gave them some aid before that. Many, many millions of dollars stay free. But they still chose to join NATO. No doubt, it was there. It is a free country. They could choose. But Russia felt threatened. This we should not ignore. And I think, under those circumstances, when you say that any country, how about us? When you think of China, and you think of Pakistan, now you're telling the Russia will also join it. Are we not afraid? Are we not worried that our forces will be tremendously at pressure to defend our integrity? That is what that country felt. Now, the way forward, question is, all has this happened? Millions have moved out of their home, Many have died, and God knows how many are yet going to be taken out of the soil. How do we move forward? Let's forget, it's over. The war is there, it is still there. But how do we now comprehend of, def of saving whatever is left, so that the war comes to an end, and the world comes to a position of surviving? Today the world is not surviving. You see our neighbor. Sri Lanka. Look at the position there. I hope we don't have to go to through that situation in this country. Therefore, it's essential that the war must end. How do we end it? All right. Now you say diplomatically. Is there a diplomatic chance? I remember Trump said America first. Why is India not thinking India first? If it is not in India's interest, this war, then I think to the foreign minister and through him to the prime minister I would request we must take major steps major, not small steps major steps in deep escalating that war finishing that war unless we do that you will not be able to tell future people that India played its part India is a neutral country 
India never took sides. Though Russia gave it, the only country that the Russians gave in when our ambassador was deep with her and they signed an agreement which they have signed with no one that war on India will be war on Russia. Never forget that. And therefore, what we must remember that if we want to save friends, because we've got friends in America, we've got friends with Russia. We're not enemies of any of these countries. And that is one of the biggest things that country has achieved from the Nehru's time. Whatever one may say, it was the Nehru's foreign policy of keeping neutral with friends from all sides so that we could move forward and take this country from poverty to the developed country. Therefore, my request to the foreign minister would be, sir, please move faster so that at least people will say Gandhi's nation has saved this world. And thank you, sir. God bless you.